Welcome everyone to the video that a lot of you already knew I was going to do. So this car in front of me is my 2017 Dodge Charger. It has a V6, it cost me $10,000, and it stinks so bad that my eyes hurt. But over here is something very, very special. This is my 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. And this was given to me by Dodge, by the company that makes this car for Roadkill Nights. Now, this is obviously not stock, at least it's not stock looking. But the reason why I have two chargers is because Dodge told me that I had to give this car back. So not really in this configuration. You see, Dodge told me that this car was a pre-production crusher car, meaning that after I was done with it, it would be crushed. This brand new car was gonna be crushed. I know, it makes me sad too. But they told me that I could have the drivetrain, the Hellcat Red Eye 797 horsepower drivetrain and everything surrounding it and everything surrounding it was sort of like a vague thing for me because I mean everything surrounding it means I can have the entire car right so honestly I took that as I could have everything off this car that makes a Hellcat a Hellcat all I needed was a donor car and that's why I got this little stinker over here so in this episode we are going to be putting everything from this car into this car and I'm gonna have a street legal Hellcat essentially for the price of a Beater V6. Now there are a few obvious questions with a swap like this. And number one is what a lot of you actually asked me privately, and that is how I insure something like this. I mean, this is a $10,000 car, and this car is a brand new car that costs nearly $90,000. So there is a big discrepancy between them. So how do I tell my insurance that a V6 charger is now worth 90 grand? Well, that's because I have a very good insurance company that knows that I modify my cars. I just tell them how much they're worth and that's how much they insure them for. And the way I found that company is through today's sponsor, Policy Genius. So if you guys are new to Policy Genius, you are missing out because it makes it super easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They can help you find home home and auto insurance coverage similar to what you have now, but just at a lower price. But how low is low exactly? Well, I'll tell you. They save customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. So getting started is easy. First, head over to policygenius.com slash Tavarish and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius takes it from there. They'll compare rates from America's top insurers, from Progressive to Allstate to find your lowest quotes. The Policy Genius team can look for ways to save you more, including bundling your home and auto policies. And if they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. Their top-notch service has earned Policy Genius thousands of five-star reviews across Trustpilot and Google. So head to policygenius.com slash Tavarish to get started right now. That's policygenius.com slash Tavarish. It's in the link in the video description. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. All right, so we need to get into the action really quickly. And in order for us to take this car apart, we need to move it back a little bit because there's actually like a little bit of a hot zone in my shop right here. Uh, I am stalling for time because I don't want to get in that car. It smells really, really badly. But let's do it. Oh boy. Okay, this is for YouTube. Oh, oh boy, this is... Come on, can you please start, please? Please start in the first try. Please, please car, pretty please. Wait, wait. I know your battery's not great, just. Okay, yeah, first first try. I'm so glad that nothing in here is being kept. And there's a there's a nasty clunking sound coming from the front. Okay. Jared, help. We could just make a fan. What? We could just put the 
you know, put a fan in and blow, blow, blow to fix the hot air that way. Jared, it smells hor. Yeah, please. I have never experienced a smell that made my eyes hurt. Yeah. Like it, it's special. It's yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have an order of operations for this car now, and um, we have to do essentially double work to both of these cars. So I made a little list. So we're gonna do doors off, interior out, AC vacuum, bodywork off, on the lift, exhaust, drive shaft, front subframe, rear subframe, and remove from the lift. So uh, that's a big that's a big job. So that is like one half. Yeah. Because we then have to do this, and then we have to reinstall things. <laughs> uh, and how much time do we have? Uh, three days, give or take, because of all the other filming we have to do. So basically, we have to have this. Well, this is Friday. It's about like 1.30, 2 yeah. p.m., something like and that. And we need really to drive this off the lift Monday to stay on schedule. So I think, yeah, I mean, I honestly, I think we get it done in the weekend. This I, is, I, I believe this we is can. bolt on dude. Like this is no problem. It's just lots and lots of bolts. So you know how you always get a lot of work done in a short time. Montage.
So there's been a little bit of work done. Yeah, that's uh. It that's, smells so much better in here, but out there it's it doesn't kind smell of that much better over here stinky. or over there. That's a lot of it's a lot of parts. We'll have to take care of that soon, but. I wanted to go over, if you're ever working on a car to this point, one, it's like money cheat code. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there has to be like $3. $3. I was going to say 73 cents. There, there's a lot of quarters, but there's a lot of crevices mm -hmm. in these cars, and you want to make sure, like, reach in and get the quarters, mm -hmm. or it's going to just rattle, and uh, it's a good place to store these. <laughs> That, that's for Tyler. That's uh, <laughs> for his diesel there. Yeah, that's for Tyler and, and his and his diesel. That's <laughs> all right. Well, listen, somebody was having fun. Actually, th this wasn't used, so no, it, it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe it and if it did, used. there's a bunch of holes in it. So oh boy, oh that's <laughs> that's the honey boo. I got you. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to trap someone don't do that what we're doing now is uh, we have all the harnesses uh, kind of pulled back a little bit and we have to take out this HVAC system because even though this is gonna be essentially the same as what's in the Hellcat this is just full of cigarette ash and just nastiness and we want to take everything out and since we have a brand new car there we're just gonna put everything brand new there there is a crazy flicker coming from this right now Oh, is it this light here? Yep. Just oh, yeah, that fluorescent's almost gone. Okay, so, turn that. There, there we go. Okay. So this is uh, going to have to come out. But before we do that, we have to use an AC machine to take all the refrigerant out of the AC system. Then we have to bleed the coolant because there's also coolant that goes through the heater core. And then we can start taking this stuff out. And then we'll probably take the car outside, clean everything here, and uh, make sure the metal is nice and clean. And then... Uh, we can do all the really interesting stuff, which is like mechanical. Yeah, drop all the subframes front and back. So all this will be is a blank slate, a bare shell mm -hmm. with no bodywork, no drivetrain, and ready to receive the fun. Ab absolutely. We're we'll, ready. we'll need a couple more Magnums to fit that Hellcat engine in there. Though. I think, I think uh, somebody was ready to receive fun in this car. So now comes the moment of truth of what to do with all of this and this and that. What do you think? I think the doors we could probably put on my like, Facebook Marketplace and get a couple hundred dollars for, and we could probably spend two hours pressure washing those to get twenty dollars. So let's take a look at what we have right here. This is a husk of what used to be a Charger V6. Nobody really cares about these cars, but I did, because now this is gonna be a top of the line Hellcat Red Eye, and I can't wait. Now, Jared had to go home, but let's see what he did here. 
Let's just go over what, what is actually on the car. It's nothing but just frame. There's a little bit of sound deadening here and heat insulation, but coming back here, I mean, everything just drops out. This was a little bit sketchy. I mean, these springs are, they're quite springy. So up here, we're not gonna have to do any modification at all. The only modification we're gonna do is back here because, well, actually on the other side as well, because what we've learned is that the quarter panel is actually different. The quarter panel for the wide body actually has little cutout holes here. So we're gonna have to either cut those holes out or replace the entire quarter panel. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but we have an entire donor car because, well, that's what Dodge gave us. So this is gonna be awesome. And in the next episode, you guys are gonna see this thing come together and this little V6 is gonna turn into a fire-breathing V8. So you're gonna see that video a little bit later because now is like a really weird time, that, the time that I'm recording this because I just took the McLaren to SEMA and I'm actually headed to SEMA in a few days time and it's gonna be a lot of fun, but this thing has to wait for a little bit because I wanna hit this thing with Jared. I really want to have him be a part of this project because I know he loves the charger platform just as much as I do. I know he would get a kick out of doing this whole thing. So uh, just wait for us to do this. I promise you it's gonna be really cool. We're not just gonna leave it stock. We're gonna do some really choice modifications, some really fitting modifications for this thing. So stay tuned for that and uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe. I haven't asked for that in a very long time, but if you guys have been watching, if you guys like these builds, then uh, please do do that because it helps me along. Uh, I'm at 2 million subscribers right now, which is, it's insane. I, that, I, that is like, that is a huge number that I never, ever, ever thought that I would reach. But uh, thanks to you guys, I'm there. And uh, I can't wait to share this and many, many other projects with you. So let me stop rambling. Until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on cars like this, that obviously need a little bit of work to get finished, you guys need to build them better. And to do that, wrench every day. <laughs>